move. You're gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. All right, well, whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system is back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. Poor girl was dead. Shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time.
It looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? 